Oi, oi, Moblisi. Hey guys, today I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial on how um, I do the uh, finding your initial seed for Pokemon Sun and Moon and how it works and why it might be a little different than you think and why a lot of people seem to be having trouble with it. So I'm just going to play quickly, um, you know, me getting a few of these. So I have to delete that thing first, but um, so this is a recording. Um, so I always suggest do recordings uh, of it. And if you notice, it, some of them look a little bit different than what they end up as. So uh, that one, like, they don't always perfectly line up with what you're aiming for. And I think on uh, the next one, I'm going to take a pause here to show you guys. Um, now, as you can see, that looks a little bit different than what it actually was. So if we take it and we rewind it, let's see why. So um, I can go frame by frame because I'm in my video editor. So if you watch it here, you go frame by frame, it starts to fade. So this is um, this frame right here is the difference between what makes it look weird and what makes it look right uh, correct. Like if you're looking, if you see these, there are a few frames difference, but they could actually be a big difference in terms of. Um, what it, the actual outcome is uh, that one looks fairly regular but when you come to find stuff like this it's like like there's a pretty big difference here that goes almost all the way to the top and if your eyes catch that you might put the straight one up uh, like uh, you know you might put the the straight one up like that um, there's a few more like like this that are pretty like rough like again here if you take a look at this one the straight one actually at the very end there you can see it bends for one frame. Uh, I used to catch it, but if you look, like it bends to the right a little bit, as you can see. But it looks like in the in the actual button, it bends a little bit to the left because. Oops, oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um. Oh, oh, oh geez. Why is it doing this? Uh, I do not want this. Oh, geez, I messed it up. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. So uh, here we go. We're back in. So this is the frame that it's taking f uh, the picture from for this. But at the end, it it goes one frame to the right. So th this is the kind of stuff you have to watch out for, and you have to get used to the solid frames. Is you only want to s you only want to be getting that like this one is a big one. Uh, it's it picks from like this is like the picture it's using. I think is either this one or uh, no, it's this frame. This is the frame it's using. Like this is like two frames, three frames before it actually goes away, which can lead you to think it's like a little bit higher up than it is. I remember this one a lot in particular. I used to think was uh, this one right here. They, they look pretty close and there's not much of a difference. Um, but you have to you have to catch it a little earlier. And I think that's the best way to describe it is you go a little earlier than what it actually is. This one here, look how far down it goes. You could totally end up thinking that it's a, it's a straight one down like this and not this one. Or if you don't catch it, like if you catch it a little too early, you start thinking here, you could you could go all the way to that close. It's pretty hard, but uh, this is why I recommend using video uh, for this kind of thing. And uh, I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to put this in the description of all my videos. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.